trying to hear guys with another video for you guys and um, as you can tell I am on a 12 12 cents right now and we're gonna go hop into a public match game um, pretty much I want to go see how it is I've been playing a couple games with the uh, 12 12 cents it's not that bad I want to go see how it is play some more and show you guys you know the 12 12 cents so we'll get into this game and uh, you'll see Alrighty guys, so as you can tell, right off rip, I am on a twelve twelve cents. Just you know. Controller. Just so you don't think of keyboarding or something, you know. So, um Twelve Twelve Cents is not that bad, you know. I've been playing a couple games with it. Once you get used to it. It's really not that bad. You can do pretty much what you can do with a normal. That was a little shaky shots, but. You know, I think it would be a little bit of something to warm up to. You know, you'd probably have to warm up a little bit more before you actually went and played something serious. Um, but, you know, it's not half bad to use. It's really high sense, but surprisingly not half bad. You remember, if you are a competitive player or even an S and D player, um, and you remember last year, BO3. You know these were the senses to rock. Twelve, twelve senses or high ass senses were the senses to rock in the in that game. You know. S and D wise, especially, but competitive wise in general, it was just the sensitivity to rock around with and destroy. And I know there's one pro. I don't remember his name, but there's a pro. He went to um, what you call it? He was at MLG Vegas over the weekend. He plays on a twelve twelve cents. Um, they were t the casters were talking about it. How he plays on a 12 12 cents a lot of people don't understand how you know but honestly once you get used to it it's really not that bad once you get used to it you can really pretty much do whatever you can on a normal like four four cents um yes four four cents will help you like that right there i probably would have won that gun play if i had a four four cents um getting used to it's just a little different than a four four cents or something like that Four four cents is a lot easier to just adapt to, and a, a lot easier to get kills with, and gun people off head glitches and stuff because you don't have to move it as much, you know. Um, but enemy bombardment, damn, they going off. I think it's this guy right here, Cobb. Oh, there's a guy here. But <clears throat> if you remember Black Ops Three, you know, it was the thing to do. I actually have a video on it. Um, I have a video on how senses, high senses were the thing back there and how good is high senses. You know, I played with the man of war and I literally was just running around shooting stuff like like it was nothing, you know. It was crazy. Look at that. Um But yeah, once you get used to it, it's pretty much the key to a uh, high sense like this. It's up close, you can snap and you can do whatever you want, you know, you can you can be up on them right here, and you can just, like, snap to them and stuff like that, you know. But when you get at those far ranges where the, you know, hard part actually comes in. Oh, double kill, is scared. Where the hard point actually comes in is the distance, obviously, as you can probably imagine, you know. Distances, even distances like that. What you pretty much want to do is aim at them. As soon as you get it on them, don't move it. You know, just shoot. So, that's pretty much my tip for a high sense user. If you are going to go for those 
A lot of the time you don't want to be in those long range gunfights because your sense just doesn't work for them. But you always will get into a gunfight that you may need a long distance for. Always happens. So if you do, just aim at them and don't move them. That's pretty much what I do on up close gunfights as well. I pretty much just get it on them and don't move it. Like as soon as it's on them, I just shoot and just kill them. Cause they die so fast, you know? And pre-aim a lot. That's what I've noticed. If you pre-aim a lot, you're good. You can snap. That's why the high sense is good. You know, you can snap straight on them. But pre- Oh, I didn't even notice he was there. But pre-aiming works really well with the high, high senses. Allows you to be right on them at all times. Snapping like that, you know, you're just gonna... There's a chance you'll lose that gunfight. But if you're pre-aiming... Oh, you'll get shot in the back, I guess. Um, <laughs> sometimes you gotta let go and snap with people, but it's all personal. It's all situational, and like, look how fast I can just switch on that dude real quick. Once you get used to it, really, it's not that difficult. You can literally just fly around the map, shoot people, kill people. Alrighty, guys, so we're going to use the NV4 this game. You know, see how it is for far range guns. Sniping so much fun on 1212. I don't know if I'll actually use 1212. Or if I'll go back to my 4-4. Or maybe go to like a... A little bit of a higher sense. Like a 6-6 six, six or something. But like you can just snap on people like that. Like if I had a K-bar there, that guy was dead. You know. NV4. It's supposed to be a... It's, it's a far range weapon, you know. And I'm on a 12-12 sense. No problem. No aim assist, no problem. <laughs> See, you can literally just whip around at people really fast, or you can preempt people, you know? It's all in how fast you move your joystick. Allows you to truly control your sensitivity. He just sniped me. Yeah, that just happened. Just so y'all know, that just happened. That's a bombardment. Oh, I wanted to see what it was like to, see, to actually see a bombardment, you know? Because I've never actually looked at one while I was getting shot at by it. But see, like... I might actually use a 12-12 sense. I know I'm insane, but... I'm insane. Um, it's kind of crazy, especially for competitive, but... Oh yeah, man. 12-12 sense. As long as you pre-aim or get used to it a little bit, you know, you're... You're golden with it. Killed him, just whip around, kill, not him because I suck. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go back to the K-Bar because that's what I use, but. Bet. But like, it just works, you know? Might actually start using it. I don't know if I will or not. Like, it's fun to use. I wanna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually like see how it is, see how long it takes to warm up to it. Cause if it takes really long to warm up to it, then I probably shouldn't. Seeing as I won't always have a warm up or a big warm up for um, land events and stuff like that. 
So I probably shouldn't use a 12-12. That was my bad right there. But if it doesn't take that long to warm up to, it doesn't take that long to get used to, you know, then I might. Because, like, look at that. I want to try it in it. I want to make sure it's good to warm up. Like, it doesn't take too long. And I also want to try it in, like, an actual competitive seating, scene. Um, you know, team scrims. Because that's what they're there for. That's what team scrims are there for. To practice. See what you can... That's a spider. I don't like, I like spiders. To practice. See what you can do. See what strats you can run. See differences. You know, just test stuff out. That's what scrims for. That's why people scrim. I feel like the best bet is to stay on the ground as much as you can, or at least falling, or at least just going straight up. One of them. Either going straight up on the ground or falling through the air when you're shooting because it just gives you more aim assist which you need <laughs> but it can be good for those moments where those little split seconds where you lose aim assist in this game we all have it happen we all hate it you know those moments where you just lose aim assist and you're like man i could have went a little faster like if i snapped on that fool but if I could have went a little faster, I would have gotten that kill, you know. It's for those moments. Granted, they don't happen much, but they do happen. I want to see if I can get a turn on, to be honest. I wasted Kinetic trying to kill that fool when my teammate picked him up. all of my teammate. I just wasted kinetic. Fudge. But see, like, once you get used to it, you can kind of, like, lock on people and do stuff like that. <laughs> and do stuff like that. You know? So there's ups and downs to it. It just is all... It really all depends if I will run a 12-12 sense or, uh, or lower how scrims go with it. I want to try um, a couple senses. If 12-12 doesn't work, I want to try a sense like, you know, 8-8 or 6-6, you know. Because I want fast, but I don't... Depending on how fast, fast we're talking, you know. What the fuck is that? Oh boy! He didn't expect me to hit that. See what I mean though? Like, I just straight, like, turned on that fool. And then just mapped that fool. Like, not really mapped, but for a K bar, it's pretty good. So once you get used to it, you know, it's not that bad. It's, it's something I'm actually considering doing is actually running a 12-12 sense in competitive. There is a pro that does it, so I'm not too skeptical about it. You know, it's like, well, if there's already a pro that does it. You know, it can't be that bad. But... Because senses are senses, you know? Senses are all personal, in my opinion. Um, you don't... Just because 4 4 works for somebody else doesn't mean 4 4 is going to work for everyone. Just because 12 12 works for that pro doesn't mean 12 12 will work for me. You know, it all, it's all personal. It's all personal preference. It's all what kind of player you are, how you can handle it, you know, all that stuff. But a lot of variables that are considered into making and choosing a sensitivity. Boy! Boy! Like that! Boy, look at this. Kinetic. Did 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 it. Slide. Did 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 did. 10 plus? What? How did I hit him with 10 plus hits? What? Or I got hit by 10 pluses, is that what he said? No. 
I don't know, that dude went 0 and 12. But thank you guys for watching. This is me seriously considering a 12 12 sensitivity. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Link in the description. And as always, guys, have a nice day, evening, or night. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Meanwhile.